Me, after leaving half my soul in the bathroom from eating 50 tacos last night. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Xmany87, and today I'm bringing you a review of half a Marvel Legends figure. Damn, they did my man Sam like that. So this is Samson Guthrie, a.k.a. Cannonball of the X-Force Marvel Legends Wendigo Build-A-Figure Wave. If you could please leave a like rating on the video, it'll show your support for my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it, and with that said, let's get into Cannonball. And right off the bat, I am... Uh, I'm disappointed. Disappointed because we get half a figure, and not just that, but this figure could have been the best best figure out of the wave if he had his legs. <laughs> Ironically, he does come with a leg, but not his legs. He comes with the right leg for Wendigo, but I don't think that would work out. But anyways, enough with the bad. Let's look at the good from this figure. Taking a closer look at Cannonball here, you can see he has a really, really great head sculpt. This is really nice. The Chris Claremont creation here, uh, but that hair definitely looks like uh, Rob Liefeld, and that's great because that'll go with the boom boom. And I, I dig it, man. I dig it. I like the texture here on the the head strap. You can see he has some really nice texture on that head strap. Uh, and the goggles are a nice metallic blue color. Would have been really, really cool if he came with an uh, alternate head that had the goggles on. Because, you know, if you're as fast as a jet, man, your eyes are going to freaking pop out and burn off. And taking a look at the back there. Again, the hair is super cool. Really like how that came out. The wash on the hair is just superb. And I'm really happy that he came with the purple. Like, I really like this sculpt, man. The jacket came out really nice, as you can see the texture in the jacket. I mean, that's really good, man. So good. And I'm just afraid that uh, Hasbro will most likely release this guy with a legs version. I have no doubt about it. And he'll probably be in pink, and I prefer Cannonball in his purple color, so uh, that would just suck if you could swap it out. Then he'll have, like, pink pants and purple jacket top, which I believe he wore in the comics before, the purple jacket with the pink pants. But I prefer just one, you know, streamlined color. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, uh, looking at the sculpt of the jacket is really cool. Sadly, they can't go down, so you can't put it... The arms don't move down, so he can't put his hands by his waist. Well, he has no waist, but um, you know what I mean. Uh, and looking at the effect here, you know, uh, again, this is really cool. Great for ACBA potential, as you'll see in my picks at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that, so... Uh, you can get real creative with this guy. You put an LED light underneath him. Uh, boom, you know, you have a great effect right there. But, yo, man, no legs. No freaking legs. Uh, I can understand why it'll piss off a lot of people to spend $20 on an incomplete figure. You know, you're spending 20 bucks on a half a figure. So, you know, be prepared for that if you're um, looking to purchase him. And this is the front of the cannonball effect, you know, again, looks real good, real, real good. And here's the back, obviously, you could tell the serial numbers there, so it just, it wouldn't look right, you know, in the front like that. So, closer look at the texturing of the jacket here, the collar looks really good, inside the shirt, it's got some sculpting there, some paint rub there, it's not painted all the way through. The bottom of the effect is hollow. And as I showed you before, it's great for uh, having a light underneath this guy to make him pop. And his waist does pop off. So as you can see, he has a peg hole underneath, which makes me think they're going to release a version later with legs. He'll be great for recreating that X-Men first class scene of Charles Xavier getting shot. I can't, I can't, I can't feel my legs. I, I can't feel my legs. He's got the Buccaneer style gloves, so they can pop off if you pop off the hand. And to cover half the articulation with this guy, Cannonball's head moves that far up, so that's great for flight poses, and moves this far down, left, right, and he's got great rocking motion at the head. His shoulder moves only mid-level, so that's a bummer. 
His shoulders move all around. Bicep swivel. Good do double jointed elbows and wrist swivel, wrist hinge. For the ab crunch, pop the jackets off to the side and it moves that far down and that far up. Good for flight poses. Waist swivel. And my man, oh, my man doesn't have any legs, man. Oh, why they do Sam like that? Damn, Sam, why they do you like that? So I cannot do my famous heel to the butt. How am I going to do that? I mean, just... It's total caca, man. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. And for some comparisons, here is Cannonball next to his girl, Boom Boom. And here is Cannonball next to his X-Force peers. And I would really love a Warpath and the Omega Red body mold to add to this team. Here is Caliban alongside them, as I forgot to put him in comparison in my Boom Boom video. So, forgot to mention that as he was a member of Cable's X-Force team. Here is Kaka Ball next to 90's Deadpool. So unfortunately, I have to give this guy a rating of Toro Kaka. Yes, I... It hurts me to say this because I really like Cannonball as a character. And again, this figure had the potential of being the best figure in the wave. And that's what really... That's what really gets to me, man. I mean, uh, Hasbro, if you are listening, if you are somehow watching this review, please, 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 please give him some legs. We definitely definitely need that this figure could have definitely benefited from that man it would have made the biggest difference in the world you know i do like the effect again i use the uh acba opportunity to make it look good in pictures this guy deserves a lot better and i can see where you know uh, people will not want to spend 20 bucks for half a figure i totally get that i totally understand that so uh, you know, if you want to complete the Wendigo bath and X-Force team, you know, definitely, definitely buy it. But with that said, I would say hold off until we see one with the legs version. You know, maybe, you know, maybe at Comic-Con weekend, Hasbro will reveal something. As of this recording, this is, uh, what, Tuesday or Wednesday before the Comic-Con. So definitely hold off and see what will be revealed if they have any future plans to release uh an accessories pack or you know cannonball with legs down the line anyway what did you think of kaka ball here uh are you gonna get them and uh did you like my review did you like my video please hit the like button if you did comment we'll chat about it follow me on instagram link is in the description below get your x-force marvel legends figures at big bad toy store link is in the description below and with that said, enjoy the pics at the end of the video. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace, peace.